a night to remember. So, to kick off, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we can't have a program like this without inviting the Almighty to take his, his seat. We believe that God is with us, but officially we're going to invite him. And when you're going to invite the Almighty to take his seat at the Ghanaian Social Workers Union end of year party, you have to be very careful the person you choose. Because there are some reverends, there are some pastors, when they pray, the angels start running down. And we have decided to engage the services of one very noble and prominent reverend to do the opening prayer for us. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please put your hands together for the opening prayer by Reverend Pedeza Pupalampu. Check it. What a chance. Okay. Uh, that, that was a test. Can you give it up for Reverend? Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Please, those of us who can stand, let us be on our feet as we pray and invite the presence of God tonight to be with us as we celebrate, as we enjoy ourselves, as we make new friends, as we spread the love of Christ around. So if you can, please be on your feet and let us pray together. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, Lord. Oh, we give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, oh, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord, you are wonderful, you are worthy, oh Lord, to God be the glory, great things he has done.
sorry, but I believe that we believe in a, some sort of God. That is why we are here. We live, we move because of the presence and the love of the Almighty. Right. Reverend Ebenezer, thank you very, very much for that wonderful prayer. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let me start off by first thanking you for coming. The next thing I'd like to do, hey, party pretty do, party pretty do. Me say party in pretty do. They are serving the starters, please. Can we hold the noise? Can we hold the noise, please? Can we hold the noise? Right. I'd like us to fall to welcome you all. Welcome. To this wonderful party. Just in case you don't know, it is the end of year party for the Ghanaian Social Workers Union UK. Oh, double T by Hilton, London L Street, Panded by Pass Horamut. Let me also introduce a few individuals that we have amongst us. Of course, time will not permit us to introduce everybody. But I want to say that we are very, very happy to have all of you here. My name is Abusia Peggy Yao Collins. I'm going to be your host for the evening. And I believe that we're all going to have a wonderful time. I've told you, this is not a talk show. It is a party. We're going to have a lot of things happening this evening. And then I'll be bringing all those things to your attention. You are serving the starters now. Please feel free to take something to have this evening for your starter because very soon 
you will be having the main course, and then you have enough time to dance. There was an all-night service in a church in Ghana. Everybody was giving a testimony. And this woman stood up and said, let us give praise and thanks to the Almighty, for He is good. And then loud went, Amen. What was her testimony? She went to a wedding reception and left her mobile phone. The following day when she noticed that she had left her mobile phone, because she was going to work, she couldn't go back to the reception venue. Went back 24 hours after the reception and her phone was still there. And when she took the phone out to show to the congregation, they didn't know whether to say praise the Lord or hallelujah. Because it was a Nokia 6600. <laughs> Believe you me, if it was an iPhone, she wouldn't be giving that testimony. So what I'm trying to say is please make sure that you take good care of your possessions, your personal possessions. I'm not saying anybody is going to take another person's phone. But please make sure you do that. Housekeeping, the toilets go through that door. The toilets are right on the left for the ladies and gents. Now, we are here as the Nians. We are here because we reside in the United Kingdom. And of course, we need to recognize and also um, accept the fact that no matter how long you live in this place, you still know the roots. So the next item on the program is that I'm going to ask you all to rise, please. Shall we all rise? Shall we all be on our feet, please? Shall we all be on our feet? Okay. So before the welcome address by our noble president, our ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem of the United Kingdom and the Republic of Ghana, Mr. DJ. <laughs> Gentlemen, um, a very quick announcement. If you need any drink, please take your master to the bar and it will be served. If you need any drink, take your master to the bar and it will be served. There is no way without a pilot, and there is no car without a driver. 
So what we are witnessing is this evening, we have some able men and women behind it. So for the welcome address, ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the President, Mr. Eric Opoku. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I know that we are here to party, therefore I'm not here actually to give a speech, but something short and brief. You're all welcome to the end of year party of the Ghanaian Social Workers Union. And as our name depicts, we are Ghanaians of, we are social workers of Ghanaian descent, Ghanaian descent. And what we do is that we are here to serve our community and also to educate them. We support in the community. This group has been in existence for a few years now. And what normally we do is that we do run programs in the communities as a whole. And as said, sometimes uh, you may ask, why do we do this? We've recognized that there are a lot of people in our society or in our community and what they do know about social workers is quite grim, I'll say. Because just yesterday or two days ago, I met someone and the person said, I'm really scared about you social workers. I don't want to come close to you. And these are some of the things that are the misconceptions that we have in the community. And with this group, what we actually do is to actually nullify these misconceptions as well, apart from our education and providing support and advice. This group is, up, this group is also set up to support ourselves as members. With the group, what we do for ourselves is that we share information as social workers, Ghanaian social workers. We also provide support for ourselves through peer group support and also through education. No one knows everything. So as a Ghanaian social worker, when we come together on our platforms, we share ideas. Whenever there's anything somebody can put on the platform, if you need anything that you are tied down of, just put on the platform and we will, somebody will actually come to you. That is all we do. We, have, we actually have, a, I'll say, support for newly qualified workers as well. We have a platform for them. So if you're newly qualified, you have to join this group because we support you. That is what we do. Now, one of the aims of this group is that we want to actually keep the growth going. It has started from afar, from afar and we've reached this stage. This is thanks to other presidents and also executives who have been in this group from the past. They started it from the grassroots and we are where we are now. Thank you all for the ex-presidents and executives who are in this room or who have carried this play this far. And the promise that this new executive with me as the head is making is that we would like to continue with the growth and the good work that have been done so far. And my dream, like uh, Martin Luther King said, I have a dream. And my dream is that I would like this group to actually grow and expand nationwide. I know that it is difficult, but it is achievable. To achieve this, we actually need the support of each and every individual, every member. We have to work together and in unison. There is no division. Divided we Together we stand, divided we fall, as we say. So I would like us all to work together as members. Don't leave this to the executives alone. If you look around as social workers, we have different skill mix amongst us. And with all the skill mix that we have, we can be a formidable team. And we can make this union grow and reach afar. One thing I would like to say is that to the men in this 
room, that is the social workers. I would like to encourage you to get yourself involved. Please be involved. If you see the new executives, I'm afraid to say that I'm the only male. <laughs> yes, the only male amongst the lots. So I would like to encourage the men in this group to actually make yourselves known and also avail yourself. Because we want to actually expand this, expand this group, we have created, uh, we set up a select committee to actually uh, amend our constitution and we also set a committee known as the ethics committee. This is a way to move this group a much higher from where we found it. So not to bore you or to take much time because I'm here to party to tell you the truth. I don't want us to have long talk here. Uh, finally, I would like to say, enjoy yourself and have a good evening. Please, when we get on the dance floor, I want to see everyone on here. And if, if anyone wants to give a speech, please make it as brief as possible. Thank you and enjoy yourselves. There are two key things that I picked from our, our president's speech. Uh, that he has a dream. He has a dream. I don't know why men always have dreams. <laughs> Good. But he has a dream. And the next thing is that he's the only male <laughs> in the executive. I don't even also know why. But don't, don't worry. You'll be all right. You'll be fine. When you're amongst women, you're always fine. And they'll look after you. Now, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we are here to party, we are here to network. So please make sure that you make some new friends before you leave this place. And also, if you are here with your husband, please know that it is your birthday that he is celebrating for you. Because you know Ghanaian men, <laughs> on your birthday he will be working. So make sure you make very good use of this evening because it is your birthday and if you are a Ghanaian husband make sure you make a very good use of the party tonight it is the end of year Ghanaian social workers end of year party believe you me we want to make this evening an evening to remember and because we don't want to miss anyone we will be dancing table by table table by table because we want to find out who the best dancer is now before i call on the next group or the next individual to give a speech let me remind you please if you need any drink take your voucher to the bar and they will serve you please make sure you do that we don't want you to be sitting without any drink. So make sure you do that for us. If you don't have a voucher, please let me know. And I'll make sure that one is organized for you. There was a church choir in a grand new town. They were learning a new song. And any time you have a church choir learning a new song and the sofas are not going according to plan, you have to be very careful. The choir master stood in front of them and gave a tune. Bread of heaven, bread up. He could hear bread of heaven, bread up. What's going on? So he went to another side of the building and then gave a tune again. Bread of heaven. He could still hear bread of heaven. They said, no, 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 no. You all stand up on your feet. I'm going to find out who is spoiling this song. And then they all stood up. He said, look, we are going to sing in tribes. I want to find out the tribe that is spoiling this song. Someone about Sanye Pahit. And so he said, look, when I call your tribe 
and I give you the tune, you sing it. So the fact is, you are going to go first. So he gave the tune, do, 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 re, be, re. The fact is sung beautifully. So, 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 re, be, re. And the choir master said, you the fact is, you've done well, sit down. And then the next were the guys. And you know the guys, because they eat a lot of cake cake, you know, their voices are a bit deep. So they also started singing, do, do, re, mi, re, do. The guys sang. The kweu sang. The pro sang. Uh, the uh, kweapim sang. And then the choir master said, so who is spoiling this song? And then one girl said to the choir master, Asante, fall on to Then the choir master went by, said, where are they? He said, there they are, the Asante. He says, okay, you Asante, sing, let me hear you. And then they started singing. Do, 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 le, mi, le, do. Ah! Choir master will say, hey! So you are the one who has put in the song. And then one Asante woman said, ah, that's a man for no son too. He said, okay, you are ever sing, let's hear you. And then the Everest too started. Azozong, Azozong. <laughs> and the choir master said, you know what? Pantifo, and yes, Santifo, it is not only this choir that you're spoiling. Can I give you in our Santifo? All right, we are here, we are here just, you know, that's just a joke. So please don't take it very serious if you're from Kumasi. You know, there is something that I like about people from Kumasi, especially the taxi drivers. When they start using big English, you have to be careful. If you're in Kumasi and you find a taxi driver using big, big English, you have to be careful. I'll tell you why. Now, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we want to introduce one of our sponsors. You know, you can't have an event like this without somebody behind it. And you have been using set waves, you have been using unity link and all that. But there's something on the line which everybody is using now. So distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please let us welcome Tap Tap Set. Put your hands together for them. Tap Tap Set. Tap Tap Set. Check it, one of the directors. Aha. Hey class. Good one there. Good evening, everyone. I hope you are doing very well. Uh, my name is Kobe A class. I'm standing here on behalf of Tatap Sen and it's simple a mobile money app that allows you to send money to Ghana without paying anything. All that you need to do is Grab your phone. You can see some of the flyers on the table, please. You can scan, you can use the barcode, or you can just go to Google, your App Store, or your Google Play. Just download the app, tap, tap, send. Then kindly download the app. After downloading it, please, just go through the short registration. Then where you ask for the referral code, put in A class. That would tell the office that when we came here, we have people patronizing the product. So next year, we can still come on board. So kindly grab your phone right now, download the app, and use the code A class. If you need any assistance, that's a young lady out there wearing a green t-shirt, kindly catch her up and let her assist you to continue with the process. At the moment, we're doing a promotion for everyone. If you, you check your email, you see a promotion going on. On every Thursday, we're doing a draw whereby we give 50 pound Amazon voucher to everyone that qualifies with the threshold or the amount that you need to send within the month. On 29th of December, we do the grand draw whereby you get tickets to go to Ghana for free. You get 60 inches TV as well, you get uh, air fryer as well, and you get blender as well. So please continue to use Start Up Send, continue to believe in us, and we'll also continue to support Gasu as well. Thank you very much, stay blessed, enjoy the party. Thank you. Classy, taking you very, very much. England has got a penalty. England has got a penalty against France. Oh, that, that noise wasn't enough. England has got a penalty.
We will be taking it now. A sharp pain. A sharp Hallelujah. So I said to him, look, Madafu, yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. So when you say they haven't done anything about the infrastructure, what do you mean? Say, ah, ah, are you guys on the No, no, I haven't said that. I just want you to explain to me what you exactly mean by that. He said to me, ah, but look at the price of petrol. Infrastructure and petrol. I knew I was in trouble. I said, Master, are you very sure? Of what you're talking about. He said, Oh, uh, right, hey, we won't make the answer here before you ever get there. So you're a new single for you, okay? You are fast, you are fast. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's on the speech list tonight. We're going to have enough time to dance. So we're going to do all the speeches and then have enough time to dance. Toilets, those of you who are just coming, if you came by Ghana Airways, please. The toilets are right there. Go through that door. Ten on your left. The ladies and gents are there. The next on my list, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, is the Lemonade Finance Speech. Put your hands together. Lemonade Finance Speech. Check. Where are they? Lemonade, are you coming? Right, let me take this opportunity while we wait for Nemonid Finance to introduce a very distinguished personality in Amis. You know, back home, we don't joke with our tradition. So if you have a warrior coming into your midst, you have to introduce the person. 
I'm very happy to introduce to you Nana Deborah. Nana Deborah is my mind in a big family. Am I correct? Put your hands together for Nana Deborah. Good. Whilst we wait for them on the finance speech, we are going to ask the DJ to play us some music. You do away with all the speeches. All right. Okay. Thank you, Mr. DJ. All right, hold it. Okay. Let me invite Diaspora Insurance. Diaspora Insurance, where are you? One of the sponsors, Diaspora Insurance. Are you here? Check it. Diaspora Insurance. Hello, good evening. Uh, my name is Augustine from Diaspora Insurance. And what we do uh, is the Diaspora Funeral Cash Plan. Uh, when I just said funeral, I heard some people giggling over there. But the truth of the matter is, I must say, you know what saying that you're fine. And I'll be so, I'm going to say, I'm going to be a baby, I'm going to be in the plan where you know, you can cover yourself, your family here, and then your family back home in Ghana. And it's a worldwide protection, so wherever that you go, the cover goes with you. And the good thing about this cover is that it doesn't expire. And let me say, we are authorized and regulated by the FCA, so we are a company of repute. And so I'm just here, I have my colleague here, not to waste too much of your time. Uh, if you are interested, please come and see us, give us your name, and then we will call you and then explain how everything works, the cover amount. We pay up to 20,000 pounds. And yeah, so come and see us, speak to us, and then we would like to you know, explain how it works and how they cover the benefits that you get from it. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Diaspora. Thank you very, very much for that short but nice speech. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I told you we want to reserve enough time for dancing. Please make sure you dance with at least, at least, I mean at least 20 different people before you leave the space. At least 20, count the number of people you are dancing with. Count, because I want you to dance with at least 20. So if you're here with your wife, know that somebody else will be dancing with your wife. We are here as a big Ghanaian social workers family. So take note of that. The next on my list is the cultural dance. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I want to take you back to the United States of Africa for the Adwa dance. Check it. 